less than we realize. Aren't we? So uh, I just want to let y'all know we have been, Brother Harvey, Brother Paul Zell, pastors here in town, have been meeting regularly for the last month and a half discussing the revival for Geneva. And we're planning for March 2019, March the 2nd and 3rd, so that'll be a weekend, Saturday and Sunday. We're going to have a revival. We're going to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ Amen. to the town of Geneva and everybody else that will come. We are going to sing together. We're going to hear the word of God together. And we're going to see lives changed together. So my, my, my desire is to, is to speak to y'all tonight to ask for prayer. This, this whole event is, is centered around what the Holy Spirit can only do. Only Him. We can go, we can meet, we can come together, we can do whatever it is that we feel that we should do as a people of God. But if we don't ask the Holy Spirit to do what only He can do, which is to come into people's lives and hearts and to radically change them, we are wasting our time. Do you hear what I'm telling you? Amen. But we need to pray up before Him. So that he can be there with us when that time comes. That's right. So March 2nd and 3rd of 2019, we're going to have a citywide revival Amen. of all churches, of all people Amen. that all either believe in Jesus Christ or want to hear about Jesus Christ. Amen. And it's going to be at the junction. The reason we're going to have it at the junction and not in the building, not in another church, <coughs> not in a community center or anything else is because there are people that will not come through the entry doorway Amen. of a church Amen. to hear the word of God. Amen. But they'll cross the fence road of an area to listen. And that's all they need. They need one chance to hear the word of God. Yes. Preach. And their hearts be up. One chance. And we can't make enough laws to stop all that's going on. You can't do it. You can't stop it out. But Jesus Christ radically changed me in January of this time, of this year. We're still in this year. Radically changed my life. Thank you. And I've never looked back. I told somebody the other day, I said, I wasted, I'm 35 years old, I wasted 34 years of my life doing nothing, nothing for Jesus Christ. I'm going to spend whatever time he afflicts me on this earth doing everything I can because of how much he's changed me. And I thought I knew him before. I know him now. And I know what he can do with people. So I ask tonight for St. Elizabeth to please, please pray. Go down to the junction and pray. Pray on the spot that we're calling for God to show up. The Holy Spirit to change people's lives. Geneva needs it. This world needs it. And the kingdom of God is ready for people to be a part. But he's a gentleman. He's going to wait. So I thank y'all for having me here tonight. I appreciate y'all letting me come. Amen. But I feel very certain, and I hear Brother Harvey getting ready to tell me, God has put me here tonight. Yes, amen. And 
this is a very special time to get to worship the living and true God Amen. going into the next year. Right. I wish these pews were full yes. of people. Yes. Because there's a lot of people partying tonight. There's a lot of people having a good time tonight. Yes. There's a lot of people doing the things the world says is good. That's right. That's right. But this is what's good. That's right. Amen. Amen. The house of God is what's good. Yes. Worship in the living God is what's yes. good. That's what's eternal. People need to see that in us. They need to see the light shine in us. They need to see how happy we are to go to church at 11.47 at night and still be smiling. So, Y'all just, just be praying for me. Because it's coming. But he calls us to call upon him for it. Amen.